As many of you know, we've had the bush wheels on the beaver since we put it back on wheels and took it off floats. Um, maybe three or four or five years ago now. Um, they're an excellent tyre for off airport operations. They soak up the bumps really well, as you can see by just how much rubber they've got in them. Uh, but I've got a fair bit of training coming up and I'm going to be doing a lot of circuits on the tar. So the time has come to put little wheels back on it, um, which are going to be 29s. So they're the, the, uh, the same tyre as what's on the caravan. And there'll be a lot, uh, lot firmer rubber. The, um, the problem with these on the tar is that because they're such a soft compound designed for bush strips and that sort of thing, um, they, uh, they wear out very quickly on the tar. So it's a bit of a false economy to leave them on while I'm doing so much training on the runway. So I thought I'd uh, show you one last flight with the, the big tires on and uh, then we'll make a comparison flight once we put the 29s on it. The other thing I find with using the bush wheels on the tar is uh, aside from the fact that they wear out a lot quicker because they're designed for grass and gravel and that sort of thing. Uh, with so much rubber and such a soft uh, soft rubber compound, you'll, um, you'll find that if you touch the runway anything but uh, absolutely dead straight, then they sort of they bind up and essentially act like bungees and try and spring the aeroplane back into the air or, or let it uh, tend to waddle side to side. Uh, if you have a look at some of the earlier videos I've got of it landing on dirt strips and grass strips, that sort of thing, um, you'll see them in their, in their true environment and they soak up the bumps extremely well. Um, going to be a bit of a disappointment aesthetics wise. I really do love the look of this aeroplane with the big tyres. Uh, but after I get through this little batch of training, we'll put them back on and uh, we'll put it back into its natural habitat. that tiny wheels that's very embarrassing we may as well put an electric engine in it and be done with it grow long hair dreadlocks join the hippie brigade Gee, that's embarrassing isn't it oh no oh well we'll see how it flies one thing i've noticed look at how low it is reach the door a lot easier which is a bonus i suppose but it doesn't feel near as tough and a lot harder for me to fit under there to get to the fuel drains it seems like it's about a foot lower Well, there we have it. Um, I have to admit, it did handle a lot nicer on the tar. Um, you can see over the nose a lot better in the landing and the takeoff. Um, the runway doesn't disappear out of view at all. Um, do I think it looks good? No. Um, am I glad we did it? No. Um, should we've just settled for wearing out the big tires quicker? Probably. It, um, it will make it a lot easier for training, particularly on the tar. 
so we'll uh, we'll see how it goes but um definitely not an improvement in aesthetics that's for sure you can see i've got to basically sit down to make them look almost normal size tires um, in saying that they are the original size tires that a beaver did come with in 1957. Uh, we did do a bit of a test and did the same thing, went um, straight level north, straight level south and compared the ground speeds just to average out the wind and uh, the average was 115 knots so we've ended up with four and a half, let's call it five just to be optimistic, five knots quicker Taz than uh, at the same, same power setting, same height as we did with the big tyres. So I suppose it's not all bad but uh, thanks for watching along and we'll see you in the next video.